We now have our base node in and can position it anywhere we want. So it's time for us to start creating our other two node files. We'll start by creating our single choice node, so let's go to our elements folder and right click in the project window and create a new C sharp script. I'll name it TS single choice node. It's important for you to at least have the single choice part of the name, as that's a value we have in our dialog type enumeration and we'll be using that to instantiate the node later on. Open it up and remove the default methods and swap the inheritance to the S node instead. It won't recognize the S node, but that's fine because I'm going to make this script be part of the elements of namespace. We won't be adding a lot to this node, in fact, the only thing we'll be adding is a port that mostly looks the same as the input port, but is an output port. To do so, we'll be needing to use our DS node initialize and draw methods. But because these methods are specified in the DS node class with some default code, we need to somehow get them here in a way that we can call the DS node base code, but also ours. And to do so, we simply go to our DS node script and make both methods a virtual method. This will allow us to overwrite these methods but also call the base code here. So let's go back to our single choice node script and overwrite them. To override them in Visual Studio, we enter the class scope and press Alt Enter and choose the Generate Overrides option. In here we click the Select All and choose the Initialize and Draw methods, pressing OK when we are done. The first thing we are going to change here is the type of the dialog, which we'll be setting to single choice. To do so, we need to make sure we import our enumeration namespace and then type in DS dialog type dot single choice. Next, we'll need to have our choice to add it as an output port. In both nodes, we'll be adding the choices to a list and iterate through that list. And for each choice, we'll lay it out as a port the way we want. In the single choice node case we are only ever going to have one choice, but doing it this way allows us to add more in the future and make the variable reusable through the different node types. So let's add a new choice by typing in choices.add and pass in next dialog. Now that we have our variable set for this node type, let's make our output port and add it to the output container. Let's start by iterating to the choices list by using a for each loop. So type in for each string choice in choices. And here we'll create a variable of type port. We will need to import its namespace. I'll name it choice port and instantiate a port with the same method as in our DS node class. However, we'll be updating its direction to be output instead, and its capacity to be single. We'll also update its port name to have a value of choice, meaning the choice text will show up as a port text. At the end, add it to the output container. It might be a good idea to call the refresh expand state at the end of each node instead of the base node, just in case we have something that requires it. So let's go back to our DS node and remove it from there and add it to our single choice node. We'll not be showing this node yet as we'll only instantiate it once we finish our multiple choice node too. 